the stripes pot holder. Let's make a pot holder with the pot holder loom. Today we're going to make the stripes pot holder. It's a classic two color design of alternating stripes. And this simple pattern is a great standalone pot holder or sew them together to make a bigger trivet. This easy loom weaving pattern is fully reversible and works up quickly. The pattern contains written instructions and links to a chart and we've got those links down below. So grab your supplies and we'll get started. Welcome to Good Knit Kisses. We're all about helping you stitch your love and love your stitches. You can find a detailed chart of this design at Piglet's Potholder Patterns, and that is going to be under a Creative Commons license. But for written instructions and links to the right and left-handed video tutorials, please click down in the video description and the links below, and a link to that chart will be there in that vlog as well. If you'd like an ad-free version, you can get those on our Ravelry and Etsy stores and coming up soon at our Good Knit Kisses store. So you're gonna to wanna to grab your supplies to make this pot holder. You're gonna need 36 loops, 18 of color A, I'm using white, and 18 of color B, and I'm using a blue, or this in this case, a denim, and your loom weaving tool and your loom. I also use a crochet hook, and I actually tend to use a crochet hook at the very end. And for this one, it's kind of fun because um, I think this one's the easiest one to loom up, and I have a little technique I'll show you in here, but we do have that written pattern. So click down in the links down below, get your supplies, and let's begin. Let's start with the warp. We're gonna place 18 loops vertically from top to bottom, beginning with color A and alternating with color B. So let's just begin on peg one. We've got color A, peg three, and so on. You can alternate them or just start off the way I am, just skipping every other one. So you'll start with one color and then it will end one space before the end. So all the odd pegs are going to be contrast A or color A. All right, so we've got nine on there now. And then color B is gonna be next and we're doing all of the even pegs. So we're alternating these colors. Go ahead and pause your video if you need. All right, now that we've got our warp done, we're gonna do our weave. All right, so on row one with A, we're going to weave over one, under one, nine times. So we're gonna go over one and under one the whole way across. So here's a fun way to do this. I'm gonna just tilt this and we're gonna go, um, because we're gonna go over this one first and this is going under, we're gonna push down all the ones we go over so in this case, I'm pushing down all of my contrast A or the white ones. This is kind of fun because this is, makes it a little easier. <laughs> so I'm just gonna kind of go through, you know, four, three or four and pull through my loop and place it. And then go through here, pull through some more. And then that very last one. So it's over under the whole way, okay? And then Row two, we're going to go with B and weave under over nine times. So all the way across. And you can actually do the opposite now. You can flip these, but you can't really do that because you see how like, even if I tried to push it down, it would um, not alternate like that. So I'm just gonna push them all the way back up again. Okay, now here's a little trick. So we can come down here. This is a fun little thing. So um, we're gonna go um, underneath this um, this one down here. We're gonna go, um, uh, I'm sorry, over here. So we're gonna go under the first one. So that's gonna be up on all the whites down here and down on all the um, blues, okay? So I'm just gonna pre prepare it. If you can't do this, it's okay. So it's still the same thing. So with B, we're gonna go uh, under the first one and over the next one. So see how 
A is now risen to the top here. So I'm gonna go under A and come down to the bottom and then I can pull it up and be easier about it. And actually I'm just gonna place this down here and come underneath several of these, pull it through and grab the last few and pull through. And now I can grab these two ends and just slide it up to the top like that and place it on my second peg and then push the loops up. Isn't that nice? I love it. It's so much fun. So now all you have to do is just flip it. So I'm going to push down my whites and push up my blue. So you can just keep following that pattern repeat of row one and two and alternating. So you're just alternating the colors and alternating um, over under or starting with under over. All right, so I'm gonna pick up A and we're gonna begin again. We're going over A. So when you pick up color A, you're going over the like color that you just did. So it's over there and then under the uh, opposite color. Okay, so I'm gonna come down to the bottom, go underneath, pull through, you can place it anywhere really and then come under, pull through some more, do it again. I just think this one's super easy to do. All right, so take my loop and place it, pick up this other one, place it, push it up. Let's do the next alternate. So row two, this is a, re a repeat with B weave under over nine times. So I'm just gonna go ahead and flip these. This is seriously the fastest. I really love it. All right, I'm not speeding this up or anything. There's no speeding up this video. So it goes really quickly. And then the only time it takes a little bit longer is when you're at the end and you are tighter down at the bottom. So that's when my crochet hook comes in handy. And then I can lift, um, I can lift up some of these loops and pass it through a little easier. So just continue that on alternating until you have filled up all of your loops here, every other one. Pause your video, I'll see you at the end and we'll do the little bind off together. We'll see you soon. All right, so I have finished and now I'm ready to bind off using my crochet hook. So I just start in this upper corner over here and I usually like to pick the one right before uh, this top row. So I'm gonna come down here and get this color A that's there, pick that up and then go into the next stitch. You can really start anywhere. I just like to start in a corner, lift the back loop over the front loop and then do it again. So we're gonna go to the next, we're gonna go in this direction, pick it up and loop it over and continue. You could even you know, crochet it like turning like that. It's harder to do on camera because I usually like to do this in my lap. So that's why I use my fingers in here. Um, but yeah, you can go one by one and do that all the way around the loom until you have that last one left and join me. I'll have those last two on my hook and I'll show you looping through the final loop. All right, we'll see you then. All right, I'm on the last two loops. Pull that through and now we're going to finish it off and just go to uh, this beginning white one here and pull it through like that. Just loop it through one more time and that closes that corner. And then I just like to go to the back and come through one of these loops here and pull through and then pull through one more time, just another, another loop here and kind of bury that. And there we have it. And then I just cut off any extra little pieces uh, here, these little, little stragglers, pieces of thread. And that's it. Wasn't that fun? It's so easy. I love it. Be sure and check out all of our other designs down at the link in the description below and join us soon for our tote bag that we'll be making with lots of pockets and fun design. Thanks for joining us again at Good Knit Kisses and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining us today where we help you stitch your love and love your stitches. See you again soon.